What's up guys, it's Ivan Barnes here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get your car back in LA if you've had it towed. So if you park somewhere where you shouldn't have been parking uh, and you come out and your car's gone, it most likely got towed. I'm down here at uh, Bruffy's Tow. Um, had to come down here and pay a fine. Now I'm gonna go get pick my car up at the, at the lot where they have it. So lots of good fun, but uh, stay tuned, check it out. Okay, so here's the sign. It clearly says no stopping between 3 and 7 p.m. Um, and the tow trucks, man, they're poised and ready. You know, at like 2.30, 2.45, these guys, they just post up and they wait um, for you to get a ticket. And as soon as you got a ticket, man, they're, they're jacking the car up, getting ready for the tow. I filmed some of this footage after the fact just to document how on it this, uh, this tow truck company is. So when I originally came out here about four o'clock, I was like, my car was nowhere to be found. I, it says on the sign to recover impounded vehicle, call 311. Well, guess what? 311 is just gonna get you an automated system. They're not gonna give you any information. I did a quick Google search um, and I thought I was on to recovering my vehicle. Um, you can go through LADOT, do a search for your vehicle. If it pops up, good for you, you're lucky. For me, it didn't pop up. So I just started calling tow truck companies uh, in the area and one said, oh, you're parked on Pacific? Yeah, call call Bruffy's Tow. They probably got your car. Sure enough, call Bruffy's Tow and they said, yeah, well, first you need to come down to our office and pay for your ticket. Then you can go to our impound lot and pick up your car. So step one is just figuring out where your car is. Once you found the tow truck company that actually towed your vehicle, then you can contact them, make arrangements to get it out. So I had to take an Uber all the way from Venice Beach down south of LAX to the Bruffy's tow office to pay the fine. They don't let you pay it online for some reason. You gotta go into the office, present your driver's license and pay in person. So the total came to $332. Ouch. And that was only for one day. The longer they hold your car in their impound, the more they're going to charge you. I think it's like $50 per day. You pay for your car, but unfortunately they don't have it here. Then you got to go to another place. So I'm just going to call myself another Uber and uh, get over and pick up my car now that I've, now that I've paid 350 bucks. Fun, fun never ends. They're going to make you suffer. Man. So it cost me about 40, 50 bucks to take the Uber down to the Bruffy's towing to get to pay the fine. And now I'm up here at the Bruffy's tow. That was my Uber right there. So uh, we're going to go hopefully get my car now. When you arrive at the impound lot, there's like no clear instructions there. There's no like office where there's anybody waiting. It's just a big gate. Um, so I was a little confused. I walked over and I tried the door that I saw, um, but the handle was locked. Um, but then I walked over to the gate and uh, a worker came over and he got my paperwork. All right, so I slid the paper through the gate showing the guy that I had paid the fine and he's gonna go check, make sure my car's not blocked. And hopefully if it's not blocked, I'll be going, able to go in there and pick it up. Yay. All right, so I'm here on the lot, the Bruffy's tow. There it is. Oh, look at that. I got another a ticket on here waiting for me. Probably have to pay this too. Wow, okay, man. All that just to get my car back. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to read the signs, set yourself alarms, and uh, yeah, just don't park in a place where they're gonna tow you after a certain time because uh, and it's no fun having to get your car back. I'm lucky I was able to get it the same day because they'll shut down. And if you don't get it there and during the business hours, then um, you're gonna have to wait overnight to get your car back. And guess what? The fees go up. The longer you leave it here on the lot, the more you're gonna have to pay. So get after it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.